us. Good morning. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sue. Ah, Vito! Uh, now look what you've done. Look at the water here, eh? Hey, no, no, that's bad, bad. You stay here, okay? I clean up quick. Capish, eh? You stay here, don't move. Wait there, okay? Gus. Huh? Watch a game last night? Yeah, of course. I bet $20 on those idiots. Hargrove call, say you want to talk to me. Oh, Mr. Turner, hi. Glad you can make it. Have a seat. What's up? I have a witness that needs protecting. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm not a cop, brother. Well, I know that, but Hargrove said I could trust you. We got a lot on our plate with this convention and the parade tomorrow. Look, two weeks ago, our witness ID'd an armed robbery suspect. We got the guy, but he's not talking. His partners are still out there. Not good for the witness. I got a man with him 24 hours a day, but it's not enough. I don't know. Hargrove said you owed him. That's between me and Hargrove. Look, just go and meet him before you decide to say yes or no. He's in room 311. Mr. Turner, this is Vito. Give me a call if you need anything. Hello, brother. What's your name? No name? That's cool. You okay? Don't be afraid. It's all right. I need to talk to the detective. Hey, detective, you didn't tell me he was a kid. It must have slipped my mind. So what do you say? I don't know, man. Vito's parents died three years ago in a car crash. Lives with his grandfather. He's in hospital right now. Vito's all alone. Is that the reason he's so quiet? Remember what it was like when you were a kid? Hey, the kid needs a break. 
You two will be the best of friends in no time. I never said I was going to do it. Well? OK, but you owe me for this, detective, and I won't forget. No problem. There's a car waiting out front to take you to the safe house. The interpreter will meet you there. What interpreter? Vito's interpreter. He's deaf. Guess not. Hello. Harry, it's me. Yeah, we got here all right, but the interpreter haven't arrived yet. Good. Are you busy right now? I'm already doing you a favor. What kind of favor? I'm cleaning your desk. But I won't be able to find anything. Oh, sure you will. $300 for a pair of earrings, dear. They were diamonds. And I see you've charged them to the company. It was part of my case. A professional expense. Yeah, well, I'm finding lots of professional expenses here, T.S. Then stop cleaning my desk. <laughs> Do you have any idea of what is growing in this glass? I don't want to know about the favor. Uh, what favor? I want you to go see this, detective. I keep hearing different stories. Find out what's really going on. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? One of the cops at the station said something about Vito's grandfather getting shot during the robbery. Check it out. Well, what else did he... Gotta go. Good book, huh? Good. Turner. I'm Turner. All right. You were supposed to act like exactly. Well, anyway, like I was saying. Detective DeSaro. Ah, oh, spare me. You didn't right. tell T.S. everything, did you? What are you talking about? Well, for instance, Vito's grandfather was shot during the bank holdup. How did you find that out? Not from you. The old man's gonna be fine. That's not the point. Is he also under protection? Yes. So he saw the guy's face, too? No. No one else got a look except Vito. He didn't recover the money, so the case hinges on the kid's testimony. Anything happens to Vito, it's no testimony, no case. Let's go to my office, huh? Quick. Oh, hey! I'm the interpreter. 
sorry. What's going on, detective? We nabbed the guy Vito identified. He's been put away twice before for armed robbery. This is his third fall. It's in his best interest to cooperate with us. And turn his team. That or spend the next 25 years in prison. If Vito were gone, they don't have to worry about their partner shopping them. This isn't my idea of the scales of justice, detective. This is okay. No, no, slowly, like this. Okay. Good, that's it. You got it. What's he saying? Ooh. Vito's asking if you like cookies. Mm. <laughs> mm. He's a good kid. Yeah. He's got a lot to learn, you know, but he really tries hard. You think Vito will learn to communicate using sign languages? Yeah, unless he decides to talk. Vito can talk? Yeah, some deaf people can, but most of them won't. They can't hear or control their voices, so other people's reactions just stop them from trying. That's too bad. Car coming. Get out! Hey, little buddy, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, I'm here, it's okay. It's okay. Detective, I want some answers. Turner, be reasonable. How'd he find us, man? Well, if I knew that, I'd be a mind reader, wouldn't I? I never should have brought you in on this. Wait a minute. Tell you what, leave it to us, huh? No hard feelings. What's the matter? I thought that's what you wanted. You know it ain't. Well, what do you want, huh? I'm confused. I want to know whatever it is you ain't telling me. The car's here, sir. I don't have time to tell you everything right now. Then give me the case files. Okay, I'll have them sent over. No, Terry will pick them up. So, did he give you a hard time? Not at all. Where's Vito? Playing ping pong with the sergeant. Some interesting details on the bank's alarm system. Like what? The vault's computerized. It don't open until 15 minutes before the bank. According to the teller who was late, she got there at 9.50. The thieves burst in just after her. The vault was already open for five minutes. Either they got great timing or somebody on the inside. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. Okay. Whoa. I'll get it. Here. See it anywhere? Ah, you got it. Got it, boy. Well, look, Vito, that's enough of that. Let's go see Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner? Mr. Turner? Other boy. Vito. This is Terry. Hi, Vito. I'm T.S.'s partner. Terry. I work with T.S. God. <laughs> oh, you're hungry. Hey, Sarge. I uh, hear you do an ace sandwich maker. Now, let's go see what's in the kitchen. Yes. There were eight people in the bank at the time of the robbery, but there's only seven reports. Ouch! Look at this staple. Must be a page missing. Detective got to hide. I'm gonna find out right now. Check it out. A feast. Thanks, Vito. We got here. P9. 
peanut butter, and pickles. Going down. You don't like it, sir. It can't be helped. It's the only way. Well, well we have here home cooking. Don't mind if I do. <coughs> What's in this? Peanut butter and pickles? You make this? Vito, why don't you go show the sergeant how to play ping pong? Start talking, brother. What's wrong? Who's the missing witness? We're not playing games no more. This time, we want you to tell us the truth. It was a pay duty cop. telling me you think there's a dirty cop? It all makes sense. Look, I can explain. No, you can't. You can't explain putting a boy's life on the line. Oh, that's enough, Vito. Let's take a break, OK? I'll get us something to drink. Something to drink? Good boy. the boys things. Wait a minute, Turner. Where are you going? We're leaving. You can't do that. Who's going to stop me? Nice work. You got some explaining to do. The boy nearly died. Now hold on. Here. Wait a minute. You knew all along there was a dirty cop. What if I did? You could have got us all killed. Look, I had a plan. Yeah, using the kid as bait. Work. And that's all you care about. Oh. 